Hello, Suborno. I, Rajni Rawat, and my friend Vijita Shivanand welcome you to this session. Our first question is from Indian School Sur. Myself, Raisa Fatima from Indian School Sur. I study in 11th grade. So, I have an interesting question for you nanobots or nanorobotics sound pretty scary. Could you, uh, could they take over the earth? Personally, nanobots were in their infancy. Also, by the way, I just would like to take this time for answering the question to make sure you don't ask me any ridiculous questions like what happened before the Big Bang or does God exist? Because uh, I'm skilled in mathematics. I'm not, I'm not as skilled in telling you whether your spiritual beings exist. I respect all beliefs and I respect all religions, but I don't believe that I can answer questions of that magnitude that have such big implications. So that's all that I wanted to say. Thank you so much. Oh, no, no. Uh, I said actually answer your question. Sorry. Yeah, you didn't answer my question. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Uh, so nanobots are still in their infancy. And uh, I do believe that they have some real power right now. But as far as I know, it will be incredibly difficult to implement actual AI into them. Uh, the only way they could really take over the world is not if they became malevolent, <laughs> because at some point you can, uh, can't uh, apply such an advanced AI to such a small uh, robot. <clears throat> Maybe the only reason they will take over the world is some malevolent human. But uh, if regulations are put into place, that will hopefully never happen. Nanobots, uh, for now, will only be used for humans' benefit. And I hope that it will co continue staying that way. And it probably will stay that way as long as regulations are put into place for how and where you can use nanobots. Thank you so much for no answering problem. my question. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, it does. Thank you.